somebody with courage stands up and tells them that uh, Project Independence was launched. Congress rang with the cries of how we were going to become so independent of outside sources that never again could any country like the Arab nations blackmail us as they were doing at the time. Then they talked for three years. This irresponsible guy, if we could have harnessed that hot air, we wouldn't have had to turn the thermostats down. And finally, after almost three years, they passed the energy bill. We thought the president would veto it. He should have vetoed it. He signed it into law. It is a disaster. The result is that drilling rigs all over the country are closing down because it is no longer economic, or nor is there any incentive to find new sources of oil. In North Carolina, while we were there, Mr. Ford said that he was against gun control, that he didn't believe that taking a gun away from the law-abiding would do anything to keep the criminal from getting one. I agree, but in Washington, his attorney general is promoting an administration lit bill before the Congress, a seven-point bill that is gun control, that will result in the law-abiding, finding it difficult, if not impossible, to buy a gun. I'm here because in the past, Governor Reagan has spoken out on the missing in action and the prisoners of war. And uh, we hope to be able to take a moment of his time and uh, ask him what he would do for our men. You seem to be upset with press coverage of Governor Reagan. Why? Upset with the press coverage? Yeah. Well, in the past, he has spoken out. And I know in this area, the, uh, the missing in action have not made the news.